Quoting Esther Perel, a Belgium-American psychotherapist, there are many people you will love and they are not necessarily the same people you will make a life with. Are you looking for a love story or are you looking for a life story? The fairy tale stories conveyed to us from childbirth to adulthood are ingrained in our subconscious mind. These beliefs, patterns and programs are everywhere, from symbols to sounds and images we encounter every day. One of the main reasons when discussing people's unhappiness is relationships, especially romantic ones. Are you following the collective's model of relationships? Or are you open to explore a new way of seeing life or perceiving relationships in general? My name is Liliana Martins and welcome to In Your Element TV. Today, we will be dissecting a daily life situation in terms of divine feminine and divine masculine energy in partnerships dynamics. We will be working on your spiritual body, which is represented by the fire element. Remember to like, subscribe and notify so we can all go through these times together. For the purpose of this video and its content, integration, we will use John as your main fictitious character of the story and Linda as a supporting role. So let's begin. Now John is someone who has consciously decided to go on a journey, a relationship journey. And when I mean consciously decided, I mean that John has decided to work his divine feminine energy and his divine masculine energy within the relationship. So, first of all, I will start with divine masculine energies, which I will call DM and the qualities and divine feminine energy and their qualities. So, a divine masculine energy, it's an energy that is more active. It's more facing outwards. It's very action taking. It's a doer. So a divine masculine energy is, do, is about doing. It's about providing. It's also very external. Safety is one of the bases. And a go-getter. So that's the energy of go-getting and protective. So those are some of the qualities of the divine masculine energies. And I'm sure you will know many more. But these are some just to give you an example of what John has decided to look for in relationships. So today we're going to be more based on a divine feminine relationship. We'll check out the other videos. We've got three videos in this series and they will explain the, the other energies and how you combine them. So within these three videos, you will be able to check this concept and to actually start having more conscious relationships or at least to ask those questions uh, at the beginning of a relationship or when you are going into a relationship that you feel it's more serious. So Divine Feminine Energies or the DF, she's passive, loving, action creation, but more in the creative side, intuitive, inwards, nurturing, healing, and caring. And like I said, there are many other qualities that you will find in the Divine Feminine, so I leave that for you to explore. Now, the reason I am giving you this uh, qualities or I'm, sh I'm um, sharing these qualities with you is because we are going to look into John's life and we're going to see how you can resonate with him and also how you can 
start your relationships by basing yourself in this concept. Okay, so John is going to have a relationship with Linda. Now, in this situation, John has decided he wants to work a divine feminine energy relationship. What does that mean? That means, oops, feminine, yeah, that's it. Um, that means John is going to work on his divine feminine energy within himself because we have both energies inside ourselves. And Linda's got also the divine feminine and divine masculine energy. But in for the purpose of this video, John is going to be more focused on his divine feminine energy. So when you think about the qualities that I shared before, he's going to be more focused on that. We're not going to dissect too much today. Um, I'm just going to bring awareness to the fact that when next time you are getting involved with someone, you will have a, an awareness of what you are looking for and you can decide what kind of relationship you want to work and why. The reason being is because when you work both sides of a relationship, ideally you are going to attract someone that is also working the same as you and then you will have a more integrated relationship. But like I said, have a look at our videos, trilogy about this and you'll be able to see the other dynamics. For this purpose, now John is a builder and John in his life, that's his job. Okay, now John has established himself as builder. He earns uh, his money and his income from that and that's his job. But John's dream is to be a landscaper. Now, to be able to achieve or to at least study for, for this or have time to uh, get the skills to become a landscaper, John has decided that that's his more divine feminine side. That's his more creative side. Because being a builder is more his masculine side. So he looks for a partner that can support him while he is getting the skills and moving from builder to landscaper. So what happens is John, because he has this consciousness and he's aware of what he wants, he now looks for a partner that fits the divine masculine qualities. And he finds Linda and Linda fits the bill. So Linda, consciously or unconsciously, I would say unconsciously in this sense, she will fulfill the divine masculine and John will fulfill the divine feminine. So I will do a different color here divine feminine energies. So what does that mean? Does that mean that John is going to bring to the table in the relationship a more creative side of him? Um, he's going to be more focused. He's going to have more time to be loving and caring because he's not so focused on providing and, and safety and all those divine masculine energies. He's going to have um, a more flexible um, approach to life so he's gonna be more um, he's gonna take more of a passive a more passive behavior and he's gonna allow Linda to take charge of the most practical things it's because he needs time to um, like to study or to become or to dedicate himself to uh, acquiring his skills Now, if Linda is um, being um, fulfilling that the, the shoes of the divine masculine partner, she will then here be more the provider. So she might be um, she might bring to the table a higher income so they can pay the bills. And that will give John an opportunity 
to probably work part-time, not full-time. So that's the support that he needs. Now, Linda will be more, uh, more worried about safety um, uh, within, let's say, the household. So she will provide for maybe um, um, a, good, a good house or she will be more preoccupied with the things that normally um, a divine masculine would be preoccupied with when you're within a relationship. So she will also be the go-getter. So that means her job, uh, she's more focused on her career. She's more focused on the job that she does because she has to provide because John probably has gone part-time now. So he can study, he can acquire his skills and also he can practice because sometimes he has to go into the community and offer his skills for either a less, less money or uh, even for, for free in the beginning. So he can practice. Now, uh, Linda will be someone who's more of an action taker. Uh, so she really is um, goal focused and she makes things happen uh, within the, the relationship. And she can also be a decision maker here. She can be the main decision maker uh, because John needs the flexibility of mindset. He needs to be more relaxed, more chilled in terms of um, these practicalities of life. So today, this episode is more for your awareness of what would be a divine feminine-centered relationship, which will allow you or John to actually create or even um, have develop, you know, skills that he now requires so he can live a much more integrated divine feminine qualities life. So for now, I'll leave you with this. And if that resonates with you, remember to give us your feedback. If you find that we are the right community for you and this content is for you, leave a note in the comments box. If you have any conscious ideas, requests or suggestions, we would love to hear from you. For more content, visit our website and follow us at any of our social media platforms. See you in the vortex. Goodbye.